I'm gonna be training like one punch man for 10 days. This is how much push-ups I can do in a row. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. And this is how much sit-ups I can do in one sitting. There's 25 sit-ups in a row. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely exhausting. Like, I have to do this for nine more days. Like, I cannot imagine how tired I'm gonna be at the end of day 10. But in the end, I'm gonna have to run 100 kilometers. 10 kilometers is a lot hard. But I'm gonna eventually have to do 100 kilometers. But predictions, 10 kilometer run is gonna destroy me. Push up, sit ups, and air squats. I'm gonna be okay, it's just the run that's gonna kill me. Okay, this is day one. See, see you next morning. Okay, it's day two. About to do my push-ups, sit-ups, and air squats. Feeling really sore. Onto my run. So we just went around the property measuring out how long it is and it ended up that it is actually 35 laps, 14 kilometers. So I did over three laps yesterday. So I'm gonna do 32 laps. That's even. 32 laps today. So I'm gonna start running. I finished my 18th lap earlier this day. Starting at 8 lap, 18 lap. Hundred. 
So I'm gonna go for my run. It's about 6.30, so tired. So I'm gonna day three and I'm tired. And after this I'll do my 100 push-ups, sit-ups and air squats. Okay, it's the 18th lap. I'm gonna do the rest of the laps again in the afternoon. Hey, that's day three ended. Overview on day three. Tired. It's just tired. Yeah. Through my experience with the challenge, I've discovered that One Punch Man primarily focuses on running rather than other, in other activities. This has led me to the question, how does he plan to stop efficient at punching despite his limited training? Okay, day five, nearly halfway there. Gonna go for my run in the morning. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, 7.40 p.m. Gonna go for the rest of my five laps. Then I'll be finished for the day, day five. Um, then I've got four days left. Can't wait. Okay, it's day six. Just woke up. It's 6.50. I'm gonna go for my run again. Do 5K, do the number 5K in the afternoon. Yeah. Although I found the challenge difficult and challenging, but this six day I began to notice significant improvements in my running speed. I was becoming faster and running 10k faster and faster each time. I'd highly recommend this challenge to all. Not only for physical benefits, but also for self-discipline. So it is day nine, second to last day. I'm gonna go for my five kilometers. Oh yeah, how I'm going so far? I'm pretty, no, I'm actually not pretty tired. I've got enough energy to keep going. Yeah. Hey guys, it's day 10, the last day. I'm feeling really tired. Chucked, my, chucked myself out of bed. Do not want to do this. I've loaded something. My push-ups and sit-ups since day one have improved massively. Feeling so much more confident on those stuff. I'm officially done. I'm drenched in sweat. I'm literally dying. Guys, can you please subscribe and turn on the notifications? I know it's only been 10 days and usually you don't get much results for 10 days, but let's see if I've gained much results. Okay, this is how much push-ups I can do. That is the most push up I've ever done in my life. On to my run, let's see how fast I can run around my property, which is 286 meters. more videos like these pushing my body to the limits and see how far I can go. Okay, see you guys.